everybody and welcome back to another episode of Feature Friday. Today we are going to be talking about the nuances when picking the right kind of leather glove for the job. Although most leather gloves will look similar at a quick glance, we do have to really emphasize that not all leather gloves are made equal. And as you can see from the collection that we have here on the table, there's a lot of different things that goes into what you would consider a leather glove. So let's get into it here and talk about the different styles of gloves that we have here on the table. So for the different styles of gloves that we're gonna kind of go over today, we do have the leather gloves with the cotton back. We've got your full leather gloves, typically kind of a driver style glove. Then we kind of go into the welding gloves and then we've got your linemen's. So when it comes down to the leather gloves with the cotton back, you do have a, a few different styles. You're gonna have a patch palm glove. So that's essentially a leather glove here where you see it's basically kind of segmented into different patches. Then you can go into what we would consider as a full palm. So on this one, it's a one piece palm. You're essentially not gonna have any of that split besides the two fingers here. Usually your full palm is gonna be that more durable. You know, you don't have as much of the stitching that can kind of get in the way and that can kind of start to come apart. So that's usually where you're gonna have a little bit more strength and resilience. And then of course, there's also options where, you know, manufacturers will do things like double palming. So essentially it's a reinforced second layer, which is ideal for work when you kind of have, you know, exposure with kind of wood, cable, any kind of rough, highly abrasive materials it does provide you with that extra protection, which is nice. For full leather gloves, you're usually gonna have a style that's a driver kind of style glove. These ones here, you'll often see that they have different sort of thumbs, often like a keystone thumb or certain reinforced thumbs, uh, but essentially very much just basic self-explanatory. It's just made of single piece leather. Often these can be, you know, pretty form fitting and comfortable. You'll often see them also that have kind of the elastic banding to kind of, you know, make a nicer fit around the wrist. Fairly straightforward, just kind of a good all purpose, general purpose glove. Next, we'll get into the welding gloves. So these come in a variety of different formats. Typically the two main kinds of welders that you're gonna see is gonna be your general purpose welders and then your MIG and TIG welders. Both types you're gonna have air mid stitching throughout just to obviously make sure that nothing kind of catches on fire right on the spot during a welding process. So these essentially are built a little bit differently. Usually out of a welders for MIG and TIG, you're gonna be expecting a little bit more of a dexterity because it does require greater levels of precision. And typically you're gonna have also some reinforcements inside of the palms like this. So last one we're gonna just quickly mention is the lineman gloves. So a lineman gloves just in general build the way that it looks might look similar to a welders, but it does have some differences. Now the one key thing you're gonna notice for sure is that it is reflective on the cuff here and that's mandatory. Uh, it will have reinforced palms. This is similar to again, how so you're gonna see that in some of those welders as well. And this kind of, again, just gives you that improved abrasion and puncture resistance. When it comes to the puncture, it is kind of more of a stylus level resistance, so not for hypodermic needles. And finally, you will have your aramid stitching throughout just the same way as you would expect from something like a welder. Now, if you are in need of a glove that'll have some protection for hypodermic needles, we have covered that topic in the past, so feel free to check out our blog post that focuses on puncture resistant gloves. So next, we kind of just wanted to briefly discuss on some of the different types of leather. The term leather essentially just refers to the tanning and the processing of the animal skin, but every animal has different kind of skin with different properties, and of course, your different end results after all that processing. Now, when the processing takes place, you know, for the individual components, the hide is separated into the grain and the split. In the case of the leather gloves, something like this, the hide glove is made of that grain component, which is why it has this look that it does, nice and polished, whereas the split is kind of made of what's left. So not usually as high quality, usually more affordable, still durable, still good on abrasion resistance, but just it's a different feel, different kind of quality leather that you have in front of you here. So the first type of leather we're gonna get into is one of your most common in the market is gonna be the cow skin. So not generally very breathable. I mean, that's to say that about most leather gloves, you can kind of not expect too much of the breathability. It'll offer good protection against general contact heat. Not overly flexible, especially compared to other leathers like the pig skin, the goat skin, the deer skin. Uh, but it does offer good resistance to abrasion and some basic puncture resistance at a stylus level, but definitely not safe for anything hypodermic. 
Next, we're just gonna quickly talk about pigskin. It is a good value price, generally more affordable than the cow skin. It has some decent moisture resistance. The leather actually doesn't really quite stiffen up when it gets wet compared to some of the other leathers in market. It has some good oil resistance naturally, and again, it is more soft and supple compared to the cow skin, which is nice. So with goat skin, what you can typically expect is again, soft and supple, which is why it's often used for driver style gloves. So typically it is a lighter weight and softer textured leather. Again, kind of makes it a nice grain quality. It does remain fairly pliable after getting wet due to its natural high oil content, which is nice. The nice thing about this leather as well is it can be pressed very thin while remaining strong. So a good example is this driver right in front of us here. Very thin set, but remaining that strength and resilience. It does allow for extra room for kind of thicker liners uh, in the winter time, which is good and just general comfort is kind of uh, permitted by this as well. Another leather type that's starting to see some popularity is gonna be your buffalo skin. This is by far one of the most durable of the traditional leather types because of how thick it is. It does offer some superior abrasion resistance compared to the other types. It has a porous structure, which does allow for some enhanced airflow compared to some other leather types. And it conforms to the shape of your hand a little more the more that you wear it. But I mean, again, generally that's gonna be true for most leathers, but for a highly durable leather, it is also kind of nice that it has that ability to kind of conform over time. Now we don't have an example of stock in front of us because we currently don't have any in our rotation, but deer skin is a very popular leather type as well. It gets softer with wetting and drying. It has resistance to the cold naturally and typically used less in some cases due to price point, but it is again, still a very good quality leather and, and very sought after. So the last thing we're gonna get into here is just talk about a few honorary mentions on the specialty line of leathers that we have here at Macmore. There's a lot of good options and a lot of different features that you can find in some of these specialty leather gloves. So we're gonna kind of highlight three of our popular ones that we have in front of us here. So the first one here is gonna be this Endura. This is the lineman gloves that we showed earlier in the video. This one's actually made of a horse hide. Super tough and durable while remaining very comfortable and actually more supple than you would expect. It's also reinforced with additional patches. It is not very porous or breathable, which is the downside. But again, extremely dense, thick leather, fantastic quality. Now, horse hide, not necessarily your most popular skin type in market for leather, but again, very strong, very durable, high quality. Next one we're gonna quickly mention is the Superior Glove oil block technology on this Endura gloves. So these are a driver style glove. It is actually a goat grain leather, treated for water and oil repellency, and offers ANSI puncture level three. And again, that's kind of typically on the stylus-based puncture resistance. But has a nice color, nice finish, good comfort and quality since it is a goat leather base. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about the Watson Van Goat. Now we featured this in one of our Feature Fridays in the past, so if you wanna find out all about this glove, you can go to that Feature Friday from way past and you can definitely get some fantastic info. But this one is a fantastic product. It is goat leather based, so again, very soft and supple, very good quality leather. But this product here also has the impact resistance that's rated. So again, if you wanna kinda of get all the information that you want out of this one, we highly recommend you check out our previous Feature Friday just to get the full gist of it. But again, just a leather product that's been kind of upgraded to have all these additional features like the Keystone thumb, the TPR rated, you know, good puncture resistance, elastic around the wrist segment. So just, again, fantastic product. All of these kind of specialty gloves, you can definitely expect to have a great experience with them. So thanks again for tuning in guys. We really appreciate you checking it in. Obviously, as you can see from the video, there's a lot of different leather gloves out there. Some of you might find this overwhelming or confusing. We totally get it. We're here to help you out. As always, contact us, hit us up. If you do like the content of this video and you are looking to learn more about different kinds of products and industry, that's what we focus on. So please like and subscribe. You know, follow us on our different channels. We like to post things, you know, pretty routinely. So we really appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you very much and have a great weekend.